Hey everyone, this is Brandy. Um, I am actually back out in my little craft room um, and I wanted to share something really exciting and I'm sure it's probably on YouTube. I just haven't um, Googled it or tried to find it. But for those of you who do not know, um, I've got like just the regular clear bottles like this. It, I want to say Hobby Lobby, they're 99 cents. And all you do, and they look just like Glimmer Mist, is you fill it to probably right there with warm water and just take, um, gosh, uh, half of a teaspoon, if that much, put it in there of Mod Podge, and then you can add whatever color acrylic paint you like, the bottle paint. Like, um, for instance, up here, if you use this metallic, those metallic colors, that is what gives you the iridescent-y, sparkly um, effect, just like Glimmer Mist. And I will show you. This is the blue um, metallic paint. And I don't know if you can see the, the glimmer in there, but it is definitely there, and it is way, way cheaper. And... If you can, I don't know because of the lighting in here, but it looks just like the Glimmer Mist. Just like it. So it was 99 cents for the bottle, um, a dab of Mod Podge, and then whatever color. The metallic paint, though, is what gives you the iridescent, not iridescent, but the um, Glimmer effect. You can also um, add some of that Pearl X um, in the the bottle and then you just shake it up really well and then use it and I will show you um, here's one of the flowers that I made using that and you can tell it is super pretty it is real um, let me see if I can get it well you can tell the lighting um, you just can't tell but it's there it's sparkly and just gorgeous so um, and these were actually made off um, are made from the cupcake um, the bake cup baking cup um, papers so that's one of the flowers that I made and then here is a brown um, gold same thing made from or used with this paints the sprays that I made and if you can tell it is super shimmery so I made that one out of um, the gold and then there's um, like a terracotta um, and these were just flowers I was playing around with here's the yellow shimmery here's a really pretty pink yellow I did I put um, pink and a yellow spray and it turned out really well so um, I don't know I got some more this is just a solid pink that I did. And I also have more than I made and it's up here and I keep, this is, it's so junky and kind of in a disarray because I'm working on so many things. Um, here are some of the flowers that I made. Um, the feathers. And then I made this pink one with the, all the tool. Mm, let's see. Here's another pink one that I made. I guess that's it. I thought I made a bunch more, but I must have used them. <laughs> well, at any rate, there are my flowers, and I was just wanting to show you that really, really inexpensive trick so you don't have to continue to buy um, Glimmer Mist. I mean, you it's awesome product but you know sometimes it gets a bit costly when you use a bunch of it so um anyway just thought i would share that information and again it's probably already somewhere on in the youtube but i just i haven't found it but i've not really looked either so um here are some of the mini albums that i'm working on i actually did this one yesterday i am um, this is one that I actually, I used, um, there's a bunch of glimmer, or that paint, the glimmer mist on there. 
Um, and then I stamped it with my um, nut stamp. And I also used my oil pastels. So I think that turned out really good. And then I took my, um, I took some of the gold dauber paint from Tim Holtz. And I used my good old card. And I just kind of scraped it across the the board and then um, just kind of kept layering it and that is the effect that I got so turned out really nice so um, what it what I'm doing is a paper and this is the um, Sarah Sarah collection I'm doing a paper and then um, I'm making the back doing it myself so um, here is another one that I did this is the front of it so it kind of goes like that this is the front and there's the back that I did and again all the same you know the the paint gobbers the oil pastels um, that one I put the um, paint dauber on the little script stamp stamped it um, on there and I don't know if you can see the gold in it but that's that is that one and I'll see if I can find the other oh 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 and another cool technique I did um also here's the one the paper side and here is the back side I did and it looks like a marbleized blue it is so pretty and then it's got purple and pink in there and I don't know if you can tell it because of the lighting but it is so cool and what I did is I daubed it with a um, Tim Holtz paint dauber this all over it then I took a glue stick once that was dry I took this glue stick right here and then I just like in swirly motions all over the board like that covered it really really well then I took this spray held it back sprayed it real good and then um, I took a paper towel and I kind of daubed it on there and then I took the, the heat gun and then just kind of worked it in there and it ended up marbleizing and it just has a really cool effect so I am I'm loving this probably can't ever do it again but it's just a really really cool technique and it turned out really well so that's that one and then here is one I'm not done with yet. I just finished it last night and then I left it because I had stuff going on. It's been busy. So um, I, this is the paper side and then here's the side that I did. And this is, um, I'm not done with it yet because you can see those brush strokes in there, which I do not like. This lighting in here is horrible. Remove it. This is terracotta gold green, and then um, I stamped the butterflies green, and I don't know what else I'm going to do, but I've got to do something else because it's not looking too cute right now the way it is. So anyway, just a few things, and I guess that is it. I don't have really anything else, and then when I get done with the project, I will show you what it looks like. So thanks for tuning in. See you soon. Bye.